24 gostov, 24 evropskih kulinarik, 24 držav deleženk Eurobasketa 2013. Pridružite se Urošu in gostom v Kuhini za najboljše. Pozdravljeni v Kuhini za najboljše. Moje ime je Uroš in danes bomo za vas predstavili eno zelo, zelo zanimivo kulinarično državo. Moja današnja sogovornica Desna Roka prihaja iz dežele, ki se lovi po teh rožah. Mislim, da se že vsi ugotovili, s kje prihaja in s kjer je dežele in s kjer je pokrajne prihaja. Torej, danes bomo za vas predstavili Francijo. In sicer z nami je Marilyn. Marilyn, bonjour. Bonjour, Roš. Bonjour. Kako si? Hvala v redu. In ti? Dobro, hvala lepa. Super. You speak Slovene very well. So, what brings you here? Studying Slovene language? Ja, učim se Slovenščino, ampak malo, malo govorim. Super. In hvala lepa za vabilo. So, basically, I came in Slovenia for my husband's job. And we should be here for three years. We've spent one year here so far. And we are very happy to be here. Slovenia is a very beautiful country with uh, very nice people. We were very welcome. So we are very uh, glad to be here. Since you're coming from a uh, uh, well-known cuisine uh, country, what do you think about the Slovene food? Oh, it's interesting. It's different. But I can see that um, you're very stick to uh, traditions. Yes, I think yes. there is a, a real tradition in the way you cook. And well, you have uh, typical people. dishes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you know why you're here to do some serious cooking with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of recipes uh, did you make for us? So, today we are going to cook uh, boeuf bourguignon and then. Excellent, have to do that. excellent choice. I, I like it. I like, I like the beef and I like uh, the vegetable in the beef. Mm -hmm. And when it's mixed all together, it's a mm, nice flavor. And uh, uh, we're talking about the dessert. Yeah. The dessert will be crepe Suzette. Uh, the one we burn it? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I know that you're quite familiar with uh, crepe, yeah. uh, palacinke. Palacinke. Uh, but this is another way to do it. So, I mean, the crepe in itself is the same, but uh, the sauce is a special sauce. So, um, tole bomo zelo umaknil, da se bomo laži videl. Torej, naredili bomo govedno po burgunsko in sicer naredili bomo iz uh, govega plečeta iz slanine, rdeče čebule, ki je obvezna. Ne bela, ne rjava, mora biti rdeča. Korenje, česen in pa šampinjoni. Šampinjoni so, lahko jih date, lahko jih izpustite, ni noben problem, tako da mi bomo danes kar lepo uporabili. Zdaj bomo servirali testinine in pa, jasno, krep suze ali gorečo palačinko z pomarančnim oblivom. So Marilyn, I'm gonna cut the meat yeah. and the, the the bacon, and uh, you wanna cut the vegetable. Za govedino po burgunsko potrebujemo 1 kg govedine iz križa, 200 g šampinjonov, 200 g slanine, 4 teče čebule, 15 deka g korenja, 150 g masla in 1 liter rdečega vina. Recept najdete na ave pikasi. While we're working, um, can you tell me something more about the beef bourguignon? So, um, you know, in France we have, of course, uh, different, different regions and each region has its speciality. So, from his name, of course, beef bourguignon is from the Bourgogne area. Yeah. And Bourgogne area is very well known for two things. First of all, uh, it's uh, beef, because there is a special kind of beef called uh, Charolais. Of course, Bour Bourgogne is very well known for the wine. For the wine. And therefore, uh, this dish, uh, where we use both beef and um, wine, is typical of uh, the Bourgogne area. That's why the name uh, Beef Bourguignon. I read a story once uh, why the beef beef bourguignon is uh, cooked uh, in a wine mm -hmm. because the peasant they don't have the, the quality uh, meat the meat was uh, with a lot of grease and it couldn't be uh, eaten without um, tenderized okay so they use wine to tenderize it yeah so it's uh, like more eatable 
So they cooked it in a wine and they cooked it for uh, at least six, seven or eight hours yeah. to be real tender. Oh, yeah. And also one option also of this recipe yes. is that you can start uh, one day before and you can have the meat in the wine. So you take the raw meat, you just put it in a bowl mm -hmm. with the wine and you leave it uh, the full night like this with um, some parsley, onion as well. And then you can use it uh, the day before. So the meat is already, has already some... Tendered. Uh, yeah, tender and, and some uh, smell, some flavor yes, of and the get, wine. Yes, and gets wine taste. Excellent. I know the, uh, the French is uh, well known with the cheese. Yeah. They have lots of cheese. True. And, uh, and the uh, more tasty it is, uh, the more smelly it is, and the, the more smelly it is. It is yes. yeah. <laughs> so uh, we have different kind of cheese, of course. Um, blue cheese that I know is not so common everywhere. Uh, with a parsley paste, and uh, this one I really like. But we also have, you know, all the famous like camembert, brie. And what can you tell me about the, uh, the desserts? So the dessert, it will be crepe Suzette. Do you know where this name comes from, Suzette? I don't know. You can tell me. So actually, uh, this recipe was created in 1896. And wow. uh, this was created um, in Monaco. The king, uh, Edward VII, was used to it uh, in a restaurant in Monaco. And um, he really enjoyed uh, crepe. And one day, uh, an apprentice uh, made a mistake. The pancakes, yes. the crepes were ready and he dropped some alcohol on it. So he tried to, you know, make it nice and he presented this uh, crepe to the king with saying the, that it was a creation. On. Yeah, then, you know, he made some adjustment and he mentioned okay. that it was a creation. And, uh, and it, it, indeed, it was a creation. It was a creation yes. because it was an accident at the beginning. And basically, um, he said that because this was a creation and it was new, that it should have the name of the king. But the king was so polite and he was with a young lady and he said, no, better than my name, put it the name of the lady that is with me. And her name was uh, Suzette. Suzette. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, they say all the greatest uh, world events uh, start with uh, some mistakes or yeah. failures. Uh, so even crepes today start with a failure. Yeah, okay. exactly. So, uh, we're gonna use this uh, casserole. Tell me something about the oil. You use uh, a, a lot of butter. You yeah. use olive oil, or you do? We use olive oil. We can use butter also for a recipe. As for me, uh, the, I the, really like butter. Uh, <laughs> and the beef bourguignon is, uh, goes with the butter. Yeah. Okay, so pravi tole govede na bomo na hitro prepražali na maslu. Jo bomo odstavili nazaj, uh, prepražali še slanino in potem bomo vso zelenjavo dali na ponvico, jo na hitro prepražali, dodali nazaj meso, zalili z rdečim vinom, dodali še zališča, dodali bomo uh, petršil, dodali bomo česen in uh, lovorev list, pokril in vse to bomo lepo dušili približno uro pa pol do dve urce. Okay, Marilyn, I see you cutting the, this onion already. I'm gonna finish this meat. In September is uh, European basketball in Slovenia. Yeah. You follow your national team? Of from? course. Okay. I'm not a big fan of basket, but with his, this event happening, and especially here in Slovenia, I will be more than happy to follow it, of course. Uh, and I will support the French team. <laughs> uh, I know you have uh, one uh, world famous uh, player plays in uh, NBA. Yeah. Tony Parker. Yeah. You think he'll come here in Slovenia with the national team? Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. There is Tony Parker, but we have a lot actually of players who are uh, playing in NBA. Uh, really? We also have uh, Joachim Noah, who is the son of the famous uh, tennis, tennis player, player Yannick Noah. Maybe you know. Yes, I know him. him. And um, I've checked the group and I can see that we will play with uh, Great Britain, with Germany, Israel, um, Belgium. And I think I'm 
We have some chances. I thought you told me that you're not a fan of uh, basketball, but you know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm come? not a fan, but for this event, yeah. We, we all follow us and I believe also Slovenians are supporting the Slovenian team. Nice. Pridružite se Urošu in gostom v Kuhini za najboljše. So we put the onion on and the bacon, uh, basically whole vegetables. Mm -hmm. Okay. The carrot and the mushrooms. You need any uh, herbs for the beef bourguignon? Uh, we will use parsley, but maybe we will wait a bit. Okay. We'll put it later. I will put some water here for uh, pasta. We're gonna use fettuccine. How do you call uh, fettuccine uh, in France? Uh, fettuccine, actually. We, no, we, we don't, don't really any... use the name of the pasta. We said pat, in generally speaking. Okay. But fettuccine is fettuccine. It so belongs it's, uh, to our Italian neighbors and okay, so basically, <laughs> we are respectful uh, with All this. over the world is Italian name. Yeah, so okay. we have the tagliatelle. Oh, uh, okay. So it already starts to smell very good here. Yes. It's, it's the bacon. Yeah. Mm. So I can, I can hardly wait yeah. to try it. We have beautiful colors and yes. uh, nice smell. So I believe we can start we'll put the to meat, put yes. the meat. Mm. Hmm, you know what? Uh, I believe we forgot the main ingredients. The uh, wine? Yes. Oh, we'll put it the here. wine. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. But you know what they sh uh, what the chefs say? No. You should try the wine ah, before you start okay. cooking with the wine. Yeah. So basically we want to try it if it's good, okay? Yeah. Because because I think this is really important to precise that if to be good, the dish, we have to use a good wine, of course. Of course, so you, can, you can make a good dish with a bad wine. Exactly, exactly. If the wine is too bitter, then it will affect the meat. So, for this dish, we need a, a strong wine. And I believe this one is strong. Yeah. And uh, since we are going to try a, a wine, a red wine, I'm going to give you to try this. It's called Vinska Shunka. Okay. It's a ham marinated in a red wine. Oh, good. And I believe it's going uh, to be perfect uh, going with this wine. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's have a try. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Smells this good. Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Also the wine. Thank you. What do you the think? The smell is very nice. It's good for the beef I think bourguignon. it will be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's try the ham. Yeah. Because we're in the kitchen, we can try it with the bare hands. Excellent. Really tasty. I, I think, think it's the good combination <laughs> with our dish. We um, can start, you know, with a hors d'oeuvre. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can put, I don't know, three or four slices in here. What do you think? No? Well, I think we can try it. Okay. Good choice. <laughs> so this is innovative kitchen. You think we can use all? Oh yeah. Yeah. So that it covers the meat? Yeah. Or at least we reach the level. It's pretty nice bouquet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Maybe we can add now uh, salt and salt. pepper. Okay. We can add some parsley. I no. Think parsley. Okay. Yeah. Some salt. So this is what I like in this dish is that, uh, of course, it is tasty, but you can see all of these beautiful colors. Yes. And I think yes. if you are a bit hungry, you just cannot wait. <laughs> So but we will have to wait now. Yes. So we're Sit going to wait. cover it. Yeah. And we reduce the temperature. Okay. So that it will marinate it like this in the wine. Excellent. Pridružite se Urošu in gostom v kuhini za najboljše. Govedeno smo zdaj kuha že približno eno uro. Zdaj poželi, lahko dodate še moko. Lahko počakate, da se zadeva od pari. Do te mere, da postane omaka gosta. Bolj gostlata. Zdaj, če hošete imeti več omake, lahko vzamete malo tekočine stran, jo ohladite, tako smo mi naredili, dodate noter žlico moke in vrnete nazaj v omako. 
то бъм наредила Мерлин. От Тимо, Тимо Часо, бъм ест с хубавите станине, им паше преправо масо за палачинки. So Мерлин, uh, you're gonna put a pinch of flour mm-hmm. here and uh, take a whisk and uh, whisk it into the beef um, and I'm gonna make uh, pancakes. За креп со зид потребуемо 250 г од тестенин по жели, 20 дека г од муке, едно јајце, децилитар им пол млека, две жлици сладкорија за карамелизирање, сокене лимоне, сокене помаранче, шопек петршилја, шчеп соли, попер и тимијан. Рецепт најдете на ave.si. So, um, while we are finishing our dishes, uh... I want you to tell me something, some, something more about the French cuisine, mm-hmm. the main dishes, what do you like most, and uh, I want to ask you a question about a salad. Yeah. Do you eat it uh, before the main or after main, or you don't eat it at all? Uh-huh. First of all, I would like to say that um, there is a huge variety of dishes in France, and each region has their own specialties. And it's really like an identity card for all this region, the cuisine. So for example, you have Alsace, which is yes. in the northeast, and um, you have some traditional uh, meals like Bekerhof or uh, Kuglof, which is a dessert. Okay. And uh, you have the Southwest, which is very well known uh, for the duck, foie gras. Uh, wow, foie gras. Yeah. In, you, this is, uh, foie gras is uh, one of the the best um, starters yeah. in France. Of course, you can eat it as a terrine, cold, or also warm, you know, in the saucepan. So. And then you have uh, Bretagne, uh, Brittany, uh, which is well known for his waffles and some of the uh, desserts like uh, Kunyaman. And you have the southeast, uh, where I'm from, um, where uh, we cooked more vegetables and also a lot of fish, of course, because we have the Mediterranean Sea. So, for example, uh, I'm sure you've heard of the bouillabaisse. Yes, in it's, the, it's the famous fish soup. Exactly. You can see that each part of France really have their own specialties. My favorite dish, it's very difficult to say. You know, I really like to it and uh, it is? I cannot stick to one thing. Uh, Many meals are quite interesting, tasteful, so it's difficult to select one out of uh, thousands. Thousands, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, now, regarding the salad, um, we used to eat it as an appetizer, yeah. So okay. before the main dish. Or sometimes you can eat the salad with the cheese. This is also common. And you also At have end, uh, one of the world famous salad called Salad Niçois. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this was, which is made yeah. of uh, uh, corn and uh, tuna. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, you have different type of of uh, varieties of that salad. I know. It can be served with the salmon. Yeah. Yes. True. And uh, with the potato and uh, yeah. with the lettuce and the cucumbers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So basically, it's uh, like a salad, uh, but it's like a main dish. It's um, not. It's not like a salad anymore. Yeah. True. Yeah, you can eat this uh, big salad as main yes. dish. Yeah. And it's well balanced because you have the vegetables, you can find some meat with some chicken or... Yeah. Now I want you to do is uh, make some juice out of these uh, oranges. Mm-hmm. So, which one is your favorite uh, French dish, Laurosh? Ah, uh, yeah, I think uh, this one is uh, quite good. Yeah. So, beef bourguignon. Mm-hmm. Uh, salad niçoise is one of my uh, favorite dish. Okay. Uh, salads. And what o- about although this I'm not a, I'm not a, so um, so the salad fan, yeah. but this one is really good. Mm-hmm. And what about the dessert? Oh, creme brulee. Yeah, really my favorite. Uh, 
although it's hard to make it at home yeah. uh, because you have to be really careful with the boil and the cream mm -hmm. and uh, but the the main thing is the uh, the burn uh, yeah on uh, the top yes uh, the sugar mm -hmm. and uh, you know the the sound when you crack it <laughs> yeah and then you eat it yeah it's yeah. perfect it's delicious so what are we, what are we gonna do now uh, we're gonna put some butter and some sugar and we'll wait just a couple of seconds yeah. so that it caramelized a bit uh, can you put it on four yeah but you never really have to be careful uh, uh, once you pour the juice because it's uh, this is really hot mm -hmm. and you might get serious burns I'm gonna use some lemon zest I'm gonna wait for a couple of minutes so that the sauce uh, reduces yes, a bit yes, reduces, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we're gonna wait to water to evaporate družite se urošu in gostom v kuhini za najboljše Merlin, will you put this in? yeah So we'll put it in the juice so yes. that it really gets impregnated with the juice. So mm. we'll leave it for a couple of minutes. Okay. Don't, don't you think we're forgetting something here? The I know what you mean. Yes. <laughs> and this is? So actually, uh, at this stage, we have the flavor of uh, the orange and the lemon, but we can add some alcohol. Yeah. So normally okay. we can use okay, Grand Marnier. Mm. So we use uh, uh, brandy, uh, cognac. Yeah. Okay. Mm. As soon as it starts boiling, you should start fire. Let's do it. Voila, well done. Voila. <laughs> uh, so you have two options in France. You can burn it or not, but of of course, it's more spectacular to burn. Yes, of course, mm. more spectacular. So, let's start serving. Yeah. Um, do we need some parsley for garnishing? Yeah. Okay. It would look good. Yes. Now I can really see why they say the French is a, a mother of uh, European cuisine. And we're going to put some of this here. Mm -hmm. Just for decoration, I'm going to put just a bit chocolate. Voila. So, at this point, Marilyn, I would like to say thank you for being my guest. Thank you, Rush, for inviting uh, me. It was a so pleasure. It was no problem because uh, I really enjoyed working with you. Mm -hmm. uh, you're my best uh, chef in uh, command. Oh, thank you. And uh, would you be so kind and uh, tell our viewers uh, the name of the dishes we made yeah. for them? So, here we have uh, Boeuf Bourguignon and Crepe Suzette. And uh, how would you say in your language, uh, Dobartek? Bon appétit! Tore, bon appétit to the van! 24 gostov, 24 evropskih kulinarik, 24 držav deleženk Eurobaskata 2013. Pridružite se Urošu in gostom v Kuhini za najboljše.